So we're going to do the integral of 3x squared. No, we did that one uh, before. 3x to the eighth. Let's go crazy. We're going to do the integral of x to the fourth plus 6. We're going to do the integral of 6x plus 12. And then we're going to do the derivative of 2x to the third plus x plus 4. And this should give us a pretty decent amount of practice. And what I'm going to do before I actually solve any of these is we're going to go through and we're going to write our n and our n plus 1 for each of our equations. So just a little bit of busy work here. You guys can, uh, I won't say anything important, you guys can fast forward if you want. Alright, so in 3x to the 8th, our n equals 8, our n plus 1 equals 9. In our x to the fourth, n equals 4, n plus 1 equals 5. But notice we have a second term here, 6. So we're going to have our two n's. So let's just say n1 and n2. n2 equals 0. And n2 plus 1 equals 1. It's going to be the same story in our number 3 here, n equals 1, n plus 1 equals 2. We're not going to write the n equals 2 because it's the same as the problem above. And then we're going to have uh, 3 n's for our fourth problem. For the first term, n equals 3, n plus 1 equals 4. For the x term, n2 equals 1, n2 plus 1 equals 2, and then 0 and 1. This is, you know, very straightforward stuff. You're just looking for what your n's are. x to the n dx. And I'm going to rewrite this formula up here, just so you guys can see what we're referencing to. 1. All right, let's do some integrals. Pulling the 3 out of the front, and then plugging everything into our formula gives us x to the 9th divided by 9 plus c. And because this, this will simplify the 3 and the 9, we're going to get 1 third x to the 9th plus c is our answer. In our second problem here, uh, we don't have any constants out in front of the x fourth. Well, that makes it easy. So that's going to give us x to the fifth over 5 plus. Now, the 6 is really like a constant in front of an x equals 0, x to the 0. So this is going to give us 6x to the 1 over 1 plus c. Well, this, of course, just becomes x, so this all simplifies to 1 fifth x to the fifth plus 6x plus c. Going to problem 3 here. Uh, it's going to be relatively the same story. We're going to pull our 6 in front of the x to the 1, which becomes x to the 2 over 2, plus 12x to the 1 over 1 plus c, and that will simplify to 3x squared plus 12x plus c. We're going to go through the fourth one, and I'm going to point out a couple of trends here. I'm going to get through one last rule, and we're going to be good on this lecture. The integral of number four, doing the integral of 2x to the third is pulling the two in front x to the 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus same story with our x here 
x to the 2 over 2 plus 4 x to the 1 over 1 plus c. I'll simplify to 1 half x to the 4th plus 1 half x squared plus 4x plus c. And this is the trend that I'm going to point out to you guys now. Whenever you're taking the integral of a constant, this is super convenient. It just becomes the constant times x. And to point out why that is, if you're going to take the, deriv or the integral of 6 dx, that's the same as saying you're taking the integral of 6 of just dx. And, you know, this is our derivative, this is our integral. dx is the derivative of x. And the integral is the antiderivative. So that's why that follows. Um, notice I said in the previous lecture that this means with respect to. Um, it's kind of an interchangeable meaning that uh, really gets covered once you get into multivariable calculus. For right now, uh, it's pretty typical just to kind of whitewash over it. The last thing we're going to do before this lecture is over is we're going to attempt to do the integral of 1 over x dx. Now this is the same as saying the integral of x to the negative 1 dx. So our n equals negative 1 and our n plus 1 equals 0. So if we plug that into our formula here we get x to the 0 over 0 plus c. Oh no! You can't divide by zero. <laughs> no, um, this formula does not hold for this case. This is an exception to the rule. And uh, it will get resolved later in our integral practices. And uh, I don't have the video put up yet, but uh, it's it'll just be named uh, the integral of x to the negative 1 or something along that lines. So it should be easy for you guys to find. Um, hope this lecture was helpful. Please come back to our website for all your calc needs.